I feel like sky's the limit, you know, I bring that knockout power to the division that knockouts doesn't happen. If you see my track record, you know, it speaks for itself. I've gotten 10 KOs on my record. The finishes are there, I'm exciting, you know, I, I never want to be in a boring fight. But now that I'm in the UFC, you know, I want to be exciting, I want to put bums in seats, I want people to recognise that I'm on the card and get excited for that, so that's what I want to bring to the division and to the UFC. It feels amazing, you know, this is what I've worked hard for. Now we have a contract, we've got a fight, December 1st in Adelaide, couldn't be happier. I feel like I'm a veteran of the sport now. I'm only 25 years old, but I've done a lot in the sport already, fought in 13 different countries. So uh, you're going to see that experience when I step into the octagon. That's it. Put the weight in. First two. Yeah, that one. Hip high, stop, up, 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 sit up. Hi. 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 More than capable of um, becoming a champion. He has a, he has a, a unique set of skills. He has, uh, has natural power that comes with his weight, which is um, a very rare in that division. So um, with, those, with those natural gifts and his work ethic, I think he can be champion. From a small country, there's a big lineage of combat sport in New Zealand, not just mixed martial arts, but in kickboxing and boxing. We like to fight, we like to test our, put our pride on the line, but in New Zealand we call it mana, so I feel like that embodies um, what we're all about in New Zealand. So when we step out on that world stage, you know, we're not just doing it for ourselves, we're doing it for our country. From City Kickboxing, what's unique about us, about our gym having four UFC fighters out of the five in the UFC, it's the environment that Eugene's created, you know, we're always going to be there for each other, constantly getting better. The term iron sharpens iron, you know, that, that's definitely um, applicable to CKB because we're always here, we're always training all year round. So come fight night, you know, we've just done a lot more rounds than our opponent. We've just been constantly in the gym, not just doing a fight camp for two months. This is something I've looked forward to for a very long time, Kai fighting in the UFC. It's something that I always knew would kind of happen, um, but I'm glad that it's kind of been this long road because he's just even more prepared now uh, than when he, you know, was first on the Ultimate Fighter and things like that. Like I feel like that Kai to this Kai now is a completely different fighter. I don't. I want to limit myself to anything, but I do like prefer to strike. I want to get a knockout. I, w I want to get a highlight reel knockout finish. Yeah. Sit down, put the weight. But, um, we wrestle just as much as we strike yes. at City Kickboxing. Go, go, go. So I feel like my wrestling good, is just as good, good as any flyweight in this. the UFC. And I feel like my, my hands and my kickboxing is just as good as any flyweight, if not better. So you put that combination together as well as my conditioning and having Eugene in my corner, I feel like I can definitely make a statement in the UFC. Come December 1st, we'll be ready. Whoever is stepping in front of me in this fight camp, I've faced a lot of adversity already and we're prepared the best we can. You know, I want to step into the octagon and feel like I couldn't have done anything more, I couldn't have trained harder, I couldn't have put anything more into this camp. So that's what's going to give me confidence come fight night and that's going to make the difference.